We are live. Welcome, welcome. Hey. Woo hey guys, so excited to see you all here. I'm Shannon Galladay and I'm excited to welcome you. It looks like we have Lori and we have Deb, we have Roger and a few friends. We have Stacy and Laura and someone calling in on the line. So welcome if you are here live, welcome. If you are tuning in to the replay, welcome. We're so excited to see everyone here. So first we wanna celebrate some successes for the week. So if you have some successes, please raise your hand and we want to shout them out. Okay, Cindy, go first. Absolutely. Um, well, besides my successes last week, I've got two calls, one set up for tonight for a military flight attendant that I've been trying to get for several months. It's going to be perfect for a coach. So we're going to talk to her tonight after our call and then I have another call tomorrow and my free group I've added 17 new people to my free group in the last three days so woo, woo. that's it congratulations thank you you're so awesome great I saw a hand over in Roger's group do you want to share hi Shannon it's Amanda oh hey Amanda how's it going G Reek success club yes, yeah. that's what I was going to say my very first I'm so excited. Oh, congratulations. It was her first time ever reaching Success Club. Woo! Oh, and we have to shout out, she's lost 120 pounds. So that's a huge accomplishment. Congratulations. Wow. Thank, you. Thank you. Oh, I guess we can do it. Awesome. I'm so excited for you. Yeah, give her high fives all around. Awesome. Any other successes you want to celebrate? Okay, Laura, go ahead. Not really my success, and I don't know if Jen's on or she usually catches the replay, but she hit Success Club 12 in July, which I think is the biggest month coming off the summit, right? So congratulations, Jen. Awesome. Congratulations. Awesome. And congratulations to everyone else. If you've had some successes, we'd love to hear them throughout the call in the comments. Um, go ahead and post and we will celebrate your successes. So congratulations, everyone. It was an amazing week. Um, so this is week number two of our diamond, um, our 90 days to diamond call. So if you don't already grab a pen and a notebook, um, I know Bob is out of town for the next two weeks. So I'm going to take over and fill in. He gave me some ideas of what to talk about. And so um, it's going to be a great call. So, first of all, we want to talk about our list of 50. So, who had a chance to make a list, even if it doesn't have 50, if you even have five people on it, just raise your hand. Okay, awesome. So, if you have that list, you want to put that, you know, where you can see it. Um, I'm just going to mute the lines for recording. Let me see. Okay, there we go. All right. So, if you... Feel free to open up discussion. I just want to mute for the for the replay. So the t the list of fifty is your top fifty list. Okay, so you will never run out. This is something that Bob taught me early on, and I love this idea. You'll never run out of people to talk to if you have these two lists. So you always have a top fifty list. So that's your top 50 list of people that you would like to work with. Um, you haven't started talking to them. You, you might have. You might have invited them to your free group, and that's okay. Um, so, But your, your 50 list is an ongoing list. So you always, and it doesn't matter how you keep track of them. You can keep track of them on paper, on Google Doc, you know, on a fancy CRM, however you want to do it. The main thing is that you always have a list of 50 people and you're always adding to the list of 50 and you're always taking people off. And so it's a revolving list. So as you're meeting, like if you made it a goal to meet like let's say two people a day, then you would, or connect with two new people a day, you would add them to your top 50 list. So every day you're looking, you want to, like this would be a really good goal. If you say, I want to add two new people a day to my top 50 list. So that means that you, um, you know, either you connected with them or there's someone that you want to connect with, but you always are adding to that list. 
And then you look at your top 50 lists every day, and those are the people that you are going to connect with to move on to your 10 in play list, okay? So the first list is the top 50 list, which is people that you would like to talk to, like to work with, you might have some sort of relationship, you might not, it's just a general list. Okay, so before I go on, does anyone have any questions about that or how to, to make one? Okay, Lara, go ahead. So, so this is a list of 50 people that you've never talked really about anything beach body related or maybe it's just someone you just met at, you know, a parent teacher thing. It's just like keeping track of your new friends. Yep. Right? Yep, exactly. Okay. Yep. Yeah, no matter where you meet them, social media, in person, it's just – um, uh, it's kind of like your bank account, you know, like a, an account of people <laughs> that you're going to store up and you never run out. So, okay. Okay, cool. So does anyone else have any questions about that? Okay, Deb, go ahead. Um, so I had gone off of Bob's suggestion and pulled my 50 from people that either had liked or commented on some posts. So some of mine aren't necessarily people that I haven't talked to at all, but maybe people who I had talked to a while back and maybe they were interested but kind of fell off. So I'm just sort of trying to recreate those relationships and re-engage them, which I think can be equally as helpful, I'm hoping, um, as well as brand new people that, you know, you just met. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's a great point, Deb. Yeah. So so these people it could be a mix. You know, it could be people that you used to talk to. You know, it's basically people that you can see potential um, with them becoming a customer or a coach on your team. So, you know, the, the main thing with your top 50 list is you don't want to have the same top 50 people in there. Because if you have the same people and you're talking to the same people, then your business kind of fizzles and dies. And so the, the idea here is that we're always adding and we're always taking off. And evaluating that, you know, like weekly and then monthly, um, but that is like your heart and soul of your business, right? That's your, where your new people are coming. Um, you know, that's referrals, like if someone's referred to you, anyone, they start there. Um, so now, now taking it to the next level is your 10 in play. So your 10 in play are people that you've talked to about beach body. You've talked to about a beach body workout, about joining your challenge, about Shakeology, about coaching, about daily sunshine that just came out. You know, the, you talk to them about something with beach body. And so you put them on that list. Um, and so this goes into what a share is. And I think this is really important because I kind of got away from this and I noticed my business slowing down. Um, so Bob talks about doing two shares a day. Has anyone heard him talk about that before? Yeah? Okay. Does anyone want to explain what that is? Like what a, a share would be? Okay, Deb, go ahead. Me? Yep, go ahead, Deb. Sorry, your audio cut out for a second. Oh, no. I think that he's referring to, it could be anything from sharing, are you talking about the third party tools? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so using like the videos in our online office um, as a great way to sort of, instead of word vomiting all the 70 ingredients in Shakeology, send him an entertaining and comprehensive video that's really polished from Beachbody Corporate and then follow up with them um, and making sure that you ask them when you can follow up with them so that you expect the follow up. Absolutely. That was perfect. Yeah. So doing two shares a day. Um, and so this is really great. Um, yeah, no two. So two shares with the same two shares with two different people. So that's what um, Doug Fitzgerald, when I first started, he, oh, no problem. Um, that was his advice as well, is just talk to two new people a day about something with Beachbody and sharing it. So like Deb said, you know, like sharing a video, sharing um, a Shakeology sample, inviting someone over to a workout, um, but just doing two a day compounding over time is huge. And sometimes like, you know, I was counting like inviting someone to my challenge as sharing. That's, that's not really sharing because, you know, they don't even know what we're doing yet, you know? So a good like share would be, 
um, you know, they came to a webinar or they tried Shakeology or they came to your fit club or they um, tried the trial, the 14 day trial of Beachbody On Demand. Um, but do you see what I mean? So they're actually like in front of what we have to offer and getting a full taste test of what it's like. And if we just do two a day, so in the check boxes of our daily actions that, um, that Tess posts in our bootcamp, when we say two, talk to two people a day about Beachbody or Beachbody coaching, then that would be the two shares a day. So that's what we wanna focus on, okay? Cool, um, all right, so we have our top 50 list, and then we move them to our 10 in play. And our 10 in play, we want to, that's an also a an revolving list as well. And so you want to, I think that's good to evaluate weekly. And you wanna see, you know, like if someone's showing potential, keep them on, because um, sometimes people take a, take a while but if they're like really like not moving it's like they're they could be potential but it's just not moving just don't spend your time you want to move them to the third list and the third list is the contact later list okay so a lot of people get stuck on talking to the same people all the time and I really like this system um, I learned from Bob when I first started and when I was really serious about doing this I saw a lot of success um, so we have our 10 in play and we're evaluating, you know, um, just like Deb said, we are contacting those people every two to three days. Um, I mean, it could be, even be every one to three days, but you're in close contact with, I think you said actually 24 to 48 hours, 24 to 72, one to three days. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay, so when you're in, in a lot of contact with them, and you know if they're like they're your hot, you know, people that are going to move forward or go on your contact later list. Um, so you're progressing them, like you're always adding people to your top fifty. And so when you're sitting down to do your business, you're looking at your top fifty, and you're saying, okay, who could I talk to today? And then you're going to invite them to move forward. And something I like to do, not everyone likes to do this, but I like to do this and it's worked really great for me is doing the free challenges. That's why I was sharing that. Um, so if you're doing this, great. I just think it's a great way to keep track of everyone. Because I was like, okay, I have all these people in my top 50. Where do I put them? And so I have an ongoing free health and fitness group. You guys, some of you might be in it already. Um, but I'm that's my basically top 50. But it's it's got goes up. Like I think it's like 172 right now. But it was like 213 over the weekend, and then I cut out like 40 people over the weekend. And so like I'm constantly like adding new people to it, and I'm constantly taking people out. So like what I did this weekend was I looked if people haven't responded to me in like two months or something and I sent them like five messages, you know, because I'm like, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing on your goals? How is your workout? And I'm not getting anything and they're not participating and it's been like two months, then I take them out. And, you know, they could be on my email list or they could be my Facebook friend. But the, the main thing, especially with the free group, is to not get stuck on the same people. I think that's where a lot of people uh, fell with the free group is they, they're like, oh, I have 50 people in my free group, and but they're not earning success club. And it could be because you're not adding enough new people to your free group. It could be because you're talking to the same people over and over and nothing's going on. And so, um, so that's why it's just really important, you know, if you make a goal, like two new people a day, um, evaluate, you know, see, like, and I would wait, like, if you just opened it, you know, I'd wait like a month. And I would see, you know, how is everyone doing after a month? If people haven't responded to you, um, maybe I'd wait two months and then evaluate before you take people out. Um, that's just what I do personally, because I have a hard time keeping track of so many contacts. Um, and so that works really well, but basically you have your top 50 list and then you have your 10 in play and then you have, because if you have a really good 10 in play every month, then you will always hit success club. You'll always hit success club five or 10, like easy. And then you have your contact later. And I usually say contact later, like contact once a month. 
Um, so I'll look and, you know, maybe check once a month. Um, like if they said no for the challenge, I'll say, great, would you mind if I contact you for the next challenge? Then I'll put them on my contact later list and I'll put a date. Okay, this is when I'm going to contact them again. I'll ask them again and, you know, sometimes they say yes. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how Bob taught me how to organize and that's what I've done. It's worked really well. Um, does anyone have any questions, things to add? Any, any feedback? Okay, Laura. One thing I discovered was, um, Google forms and then Deb showed me the, um, when you added people to your group, you put uh, questions for them to answer. You can ask people three questions. Mm -hmm. um, so that's been really helpful when I'm adding people to the group that they're being, they're, at, they're answering these questions. And then separately, I have a Google form that I can share with you guys how to do it. It's really awesome because then they can put their email address in and you can collect their information on a Google form. That's and, awesome. And that's been, that actually, I had 29 people fill out that form from my group. So I have their email addresses now too. That's great. Yeah, definitely share that. That'd be awesome. That was helpful because I'm trying to re-engage the people like you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, you can also, um, another thing is Survey Monkey, and it's free and you can use that too. So, um, you know, definitely a way to collect people's um, information. That's great. Um, so, so basically now, now that we have our ways of contacting people, we're going to go into the three step process that helps people move from the free stuff to the paid stuff. And this works really, really well. Um, so step number one is finding them. So we're just going to share some ways of finding new people, um, how to connect and meet new people. Um, so there's lots of different ways and I, recommend just finding what works best for you um, because what works best for me might not work best for you um, you know I had a coach when I first started like she um, she hated writing posts on Facebook she's like I don't know how to spell very well but she was awesome on video and she was awesome in person and so I was like well let's do videos and let's do a fit club and she got to Diamond just by because she was awesome, who she was, but we were playing off of her strengths. So I think that's really important. Like, you don't want to do something just because it's recommend, you know, just because I say it would be awesome. Um, you know, I've showed some ways like through Instagram where I think it's great or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, but find your strength. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, so these are just a few different ways. Um, a really simple way is you can invite someone over to do a workout at your house. I have done this a lot and it works so great. Even one person at a time. It doesn't even have to be a whole group. You do a workout and you drink Shakeology at the end and learn more about them, you know? Um, so that's a really easy way. Um, you can do a fit club so you can invite more people over to your house or you can do it at a place. I did it at a karate studio. I've done it at a few places, but one place we did it at like a karate studio and they had a play area and we got it for free because we promoted the place and they let us use their facility. So a lot of businesses, you could do trade off, you know, we'll promote your business if you let us use the space. Um, so fit clubs are really fun. You can do a taste testing. I did a healthy eating taste testing party before. Um, so that was really fun. Um, where I made a bunch of healthy recipes and crock pots and I invited everyone over and it was really focusing on healthy eating taste testing and I said by the way we're gonna try Shakeology but the focus was on trying healthy recipes that were quick and easy if you work you know like if you're busy and you work um, so had a good turnout I think like three or so I mean there was a small amount of people but a good amount of people joined you know like the, it was like 90 percent of the people that were there actually became a coach um so that worked really well um you so those are basically people you know right people around you um you can this is some things i used to do when i was in arizona um you know go out like go to play dates in your area if you have kids um you could go to like uh social events like we went to like at our apartment complex had like 
a potluck dinner. So like at your church or you could do something in the community. Um, you know, just any way you can go meet people. Like I've joined like a women in business group. Um, I've done like, a yeah, a meal prep party. That would be great. Yeah. Like I just think it's really important to lead with value. And I always said, you know, and by the way, we're going to try Shakeology too. But if you say we're going to have a Shakeology taste testing party, like hardly anyone will come. <laughs> um, just saying. I, I mean, people that might work for people, but it, I found that it's worked better um, and for my audience doing something like a workout and then Shakeology or doing a taste testing party for healthy food and then Shakeology. Um, so anyway, that's worked really good. Um, so anyway, there's lots of ways that you can meet people in person. There's meetup.com. If you want to join local groups, you could join a running group, um, you know, training with people. Um, so I definitely meeting people in person is, I mean, a lot of my diamond coaches have, I've met in person. So that has worked really well um, to meet people locally. I think that you can build a really strong team locally. Like what I've done is done locally and online. I've done both. And so they work together. Like when you're doing stuff locally and you're taking pictures together, you know, like when we were at Summit, we had all the energy and it was so fun. Um, like people like to see people together. So that's fun. Um, so other ways you can meet people through social media, you know, you can meet people through, um, we've shared the Instagram way. I've been using that a lot lately. I've met a ton of people that way. Um, you know, Twitter is a great way. Just searching, um, watch the Shalene Johnson video that we posted. There's two Shalene Johnson videos in our boot camp short, um, talking about who your person is because you want to know who your person is. So then you can find them when you know who your person is. Um, so, you know, doing search, searching hashtags, like for me, I've been searching like, um, office job because I'm looking for like, you know, women who have an office job um, or Spartan mom, you know, like Spartan racing mom, you know, so you can do searches on any platform, um, Twitter, uh, Facebook or Instagram for specific groups, but you really have to know your person. So if you haven't really thought about your person for a while, even if it's been like a couple months, I would take time to do that and post in the comments of the video, the Shalene Johnson video, because when you really know your person, then it's so much easier to find them. Um, also on social media, um, you will uh, just uh, fade into the posts if you don't know your, your, know who you are and who you want to attract. So I really wanted to put that out there. I think that's really important because um, you'll see a lot of people like posting, hey, I just did my workout or hey, I just ate healthy. Like, provide value with your posts, you know, like share a tip, like why should someone, you know, like if you just post a health uh, workout post, then people might be like, oh, that's cool. They just worked out, but they won't think like, oh, they can help me. Right. So when you post like tips or value with your post and you're showing your working, so you're showing you're living the life and you're giving a tip, then people are like, oh, you can really help me, you know, like you know what you're talking about, you're giving some tips. Um, so also, you know, talk about like on social media, a lot of times we're looking for, they talked about this on the National Wake Up Call, we're looking for people where we were, you know, where, who we were. So who, and this is important to write down, like who were you before Beachbody, right? Like a lot of times when we get into being a coach, I know a lot of us have been coaches for a few years and we kind of get into the mode of, you know, talking about coaching, talking about the workouts, talking about, and we forget about who we are. We forget about like where we came from, right? And so like, um, think about things that you did before Beachbody, you know, like for me, like I used to work at an office. At one point I worked like 70, 80 hours a week. I worked in an office. I worked for a nonprofit. I started a nonprofit. I taught my own gymnastics classes. Um, I volunteered. I, you know, like all of these different things, freelance jobs, um, you know, but just think about like, you know, I like trap, like if you like to travel, if you, um, you know, like, do you like Disney? Do you like horses? Like, what are your interests? And when you share your interests, then a lot of times you'll connect with people. Like I've been talking to tons of Spartan people lately, which I'm super excited. Thanks to Meredith for helping me make it through the race. <laughs> um, 
So, but like that's, you know, that's like a new interest, you know, like I met that guy that I was really excited. I posted that picture. He's done 70 Spartan races in the last two years and he's thinking about becoming a coach and we've had a lot of great conversations, but I wouldn't have connected. He probably wouldn't have found me because I was like targeting like women mostly specifically. And so I was like, well, you know, what if I don't care if it's women or men, but I'm looking for you know, like someone who likes Spartan races and they're a go-getter and they're helping other people and they're training, you know, like that's a whole demographic I can go after. Um, so anyway, so you want to think outside the box, box. like you never want to use hashtags that are really general. Like you never want to do like fitness or healthy eating or, you know, something really general because then you'll just get lost in the whole sea of everything. But if you make it really specific, um, like, Let's just hear like, um, uh, oh yeah, trifecta, awesome, sweet. Uh, Meredith, we need to talk. I'm thinking about that too, so that'd be cool. Um, okay, so let's post in the comments. Let's hear some interests of people, of some things that you guys like, that like, like you love, that you're excited about, and that you would love to talk to someone about. Okay, new kids on the block. Yeah, that's awesome. See, that's so cool, Deb, because... You can totally connect with people. Like I love new kids on that was totally my you know jam when I was younger. Um, so yeah, five k runner. So that's awesome, Ashley. Um, you know, if anything with running, I would totally sign up for a race and train and do beach body and talk about how you're training. Um, one thing I've been doing with the Spartan is I've been saying you know, talking to the Spartan people, asking me how they're training, and then they ask me how I'm training, and then we talk about Beachbody, and it works awesome. Um, so 5K runner, medically complex children. Yeah, that's a great demographic, and you could, I mean, a lot of people um, that, ha that struggle with their children having medical problems, like they're under a lot of stress, and health and fitness would help them a lot to relieve their stress, you know, so that would be awesome. Uh, yeah, Star Wars to toys. Yeah, like you got to talk about that totally. Uh, vegan life. You'll connect with people that like vegan. Uh, yeah, homeschool teachers. Um, homeschool and teachers, that's a whole whole huge audience right there that you can connect with. Um, yeah, retail work. I mean, retail work is a great one because those people know how to talk to people, right? They, they talk to people all the time and they're great at talking to people and they probably don't make enough money. And so they would love to do something on the side. Like that would be perfect to talk about coaching. Um, yeah, blockheads, Lego. I love these weightlifting. So fun. Yeah. People who have an open heart surgery and people only have one kid. Yep, absolutely. Um, you know, and Stacy, your story is really inspiring because you're not letting that stop you. You know, I think that's really amazing um, that other people, they might have gone through that and then they might have let that stop them. So Game of Thrones. Yeah, I got it. Um, military moms. Yes. Bacon. Kids with um, ostomies, food allergies. Yep. Large families. Great. So you get it, right? So you get it. So I, w I would um, write down a list and let's share it. So that would be one of our assignments for today is to write down lists of things that you love. And it can't just be that you like. Like it, it when, you know, you can tell the difference in someone's voice when they're like, yeah, I really like this. Or, oh my gosh, I love it so cool. Oh my gosh. Like it has to pull that out of you. And you could do a test. You know, like you could go to your spouse or someone at your house and you could start talking, you could be like, does this sound like really excited, like I'm really excited or do I sound like kind of like, mm, you know, like you need to have the excitement test because the thing is on social media, the excitement test shines through in your posts. If you're just posting, then people will be like, what, 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 you know, or if they're like whoa, they're excited, you know, like I was going through my post today, like, um, you know, just kind of review of like how things are going. And I'm like, whoa, I was really excited at that point. I wasn't so excited there that, you know, like you can see the difference. Um, and people will, like people will want to work with you if you have that excitement and that energy. But if you don't, then they'll be like, eh, they're, you know, next person, you know. Um, okay, cool. So that's, we're going to make our list of things we love, and then we're going to start talking about them. So on social media, um, you, awesome. Yeah. So, um, on social media, you want to talk about what you love 90% of the time 
and 10% you want to talk about Beachbody. Okay, a lot of times people flip it and they'll talk about Beachbody 90% of the time and 10% about things they love. If you talk about things you love 90% of the time, you will get way more customers, way more coaches than if you did it the other way. So I think that's super important. Um, okay, so and then we're gonna start doing that. And, and so the second, so first you're gonna list what you love. And then the second part is we're gonna, I'm gonna make a post. So I'll make a post and you list what you love and you list your um, main social media. Well, actually we're gonna do this in a week. So we're gonna work on this for a week and then we'll evaluate in a week, okay? Cause then we're gonna evaluate how we did on our social media. Cause like Deb said, we want likes and loves and comments, okay? So when we get likes and loves and comments, then that's a great finding tool. And people will like and love and comment on our posts when they see that we're passionate and we're excited. Um, because this is another important thing to write down. Social media is not used to sell things, okay? You will not get sales from your posts in general. You won't. Um, social media is a finding tool. It's a huge finding tool. And a lot of people miss the boat because they're just thinking that they're going to sell by doing a post, but it's really a finding tool so that you can start conversations with people. Okay. So, so that's finding. So that's step. We we're talking about three different pools. Okay. Finding is the first one. And we talked about lots of ways to find. I hope that was helpful. Um, so number two is serve. Okay. So once you find these people, you've got to serve these people before you ask for the sell. You will have so much more success if you serve people before you sell them. So that's where I think the uh, free groups are great. You know, like we're doing this week. If you're doing one this week, that's awesome. If you haven't even started, that's okay. You can start one anytime. Um, so, but the idea is you're serving people. Um, so when you're serving them, you are like a detective. So you want to write that down. You want to learn as much as you can about people. So that's what we're going to do this week too. Um, so starting today, I'm going to do a post once a day and we're, it's going to be a detective post. And we're going to, this week, we're just going to find out as much as we can about people. We're going to learn, um, about what their struggles are. We're gonna learn about what they've done in the past. So you, you don't wanna just find out about their whole life history, like their family, and I mean, that's great and everything, but we wanna find out their struggles. What stopped them from reaching their goals with their health and fitness? I'll put some questions together, okay? So what stopped them from reaching their health and fitness goals before? Um, you know, what are they doing now? What, um, what is working? What is not working? Um, so I'll put a list of questions, and we're going to be detectives this week, and we're going to find out these things. Because when we find out people's struggles, when we s learn about them and we serve them, so like um, – for example, if you're doing a, a water drinking challenge this week, right? So we, we started, let's, I'm just, just saying if everyone did it, okay? Um, started on Monday and we did a water drinking challenge. And so we're going to ask, like at tonight, if you haven't already, I would ask people, like, what, is, what are your goals for the week? You know, what are, what are your goals? How are you doing? Um, and then you want to check in. Like, you check in on Monday, you check in on Wednesday, you check in on Friday, um, and you want to learn, you know, so like on Monday, how is your goal on Wednesday? How are, how are you doing on your goal? How is it going? And they're like, Oh man, I'm really struggling. Like, you know, what's, what's going on? What, what's holding you back? Why, why aren't you reaching your goal? Like I like to ask people that. Um, and you can go, Oh, you got to go. Oh, you have a question. Go for, you, for the people. So these questions you're asking, is this private or are you posting this in the page in your free group? Or are you, you picking people out, you know, that committed to the water challenge and, and, and asking them behind the scenes? Both. So I think it's good to do both. I think it's the best to do it behind the scenes. Um, and it's really good to use the voice message. Have you guys tried the voice message before? Yeah, awesome. And the video message, the video message is even better. It's like 15 seconds, but you just take a video of you 
hey, how's it going? How are you? You know, what's your goal for the week? Send, and you can forward it to as many, like 50 people or however many people, but it goes in an individual message and it looks like it's from you. So I've done the voice message. I'm going to go for the video message because the more connection you can do, the better. So if you do the behind the scenes message, and you do it in your group. Like if you did a poll, you know, like what's your biggest struggle? Like I do getting to know you questions, you know, like sometimes I do, like I could do tonight. Like what's, what's hold you back from reaching your fitness goals in the past? You know, motivation, not sure what to do. I have sugar cravings, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, to answer your question, I do it publicly and I would do it behind the scenes. Um, but with your people that are in your challenge, if you have five or if you have 50, those are your golden people that you are focusing on, that you are serving. You um, don't get distracted by um, people that might take up your time that aren't going to move anywhere. Like you're focusing on these new people that are in your free challenge right now. Um, oh, no videos for Android. Oh, that's okay. Um, anyway, you, you do a message, you connect with them, right? Um, so then... Um, you're serving them by connecting with them, answering them, asking questions, and you want to get them to open up. You know, well, what's holding you back? Uh, what, what are your struggles? Like I say, you start asking these questions like towards the middle of the week, towards Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, once you know their struggle and you like, you're connecting, things are good, then we're going to do a phone call towards the end of the week with these people that you've connect, you know, some people in your free challenge are not going to write back and that's okay. You just focus on the ones that are writing back. That's another thing. We always focus on the people that show up. We don't focus on the people that you're pulling along, right? Okay. So at the end of the week, we're, we do all this detective work and we find out the struggles and then we go to these people and we say, you know, let's say to Deb, like, Hey Deb, you did awesome this week. Great job for crushing this water challenge. I know you are really struggling with consistency. And I know that was your struggle this week. And I really want to help you with consistency. Consistency. I want to help you take it to the next level. And I want to help you to get results this time. Instead of falling off, I want to help you get results. Hey, I have 10 minutes on this day. You want to set the time. Don't ever say, hey, when do you have time to talk? Don't say that. You want to be in control of the conversation. Hey, I have time here and here and here for 10 minutes um, to go over your health and fitness goals and help you to know the next steps to take after this free challenge. And then you get them on the phone and you talk to them. If you've never talked to someone on the phone, invite, you know, just say, hey, I'm new at this. Let's talk to my friend Shannon or you know, while well, I'm right here, Bob's on, out of town right now. So me <laughs> or Lara or Cindy, I mean, we have some great leaders here. Um, and you just say, hey, I'm new at this. And then you get them on the phone for 10 minutes. And on that phone call, you, you know, at the beginning, it's just like, hey, how's it going? It was so awesome having you in our water drinking challenge. I loved seeing your post, you know, tell me, how did it go? And then they'll, you know, start talking. And then you say, um, you know, what are your goals going forward? You know, what do you want to do? And they're like telling you and they're, you're like, well, what has stopped you before in the past? What's held you back? And then, you know, they tell you and then you say, hey, I have some ideas that could help you. I've been coaching people on their health and fitness goals and we've helped people get awesome results. I think this could really help you. And you invite them on the phone. Um, so that works really great. Um, you can do, if you don't feel confident talking on the phone, you can also do it in a message. You can send the invite in the message and you can um, send like a video. Like the shift shop, oh my gosh, who's gotten results with the shift shop? Me, what, what? Okay, I think like everyone, it's been an amazing thing. So, you know, um, and we're almost out of time here, so I'm gonna finish it up. Um, so you could send them a video for the shift shop. You could say, you know, we are loving our group. I mean, we are up to like 186 people in it. We're starting another group on August 14th. So that's another thing I was gonna say. We're just going to keep that group open and we're going to do another round. Okay. So it's not going to be hard. We're just going to add new people to it. Um, so August 14th, we're starting another round. Hey, do you want to check out this, the video? Like we have a video of Shift shop. We have a video of Shakeology. Um, I always say, you know what? You can get this awesome workout that people are getting results and a membership to all of our workouts for a year. And it's only $99 for the year. 
And then as a bonus, you can even try our superfood shake for $60 the first month. It's so great. Such a great deal. So together, it's only $160. It's on sale right now. You know, if you want to get started. Um, so, but you show them the value, you know, all the workouts. And you can try the superfood shake for only $60. It's such a great deal. Um, but the main thing behind the invite that's going to help people move from the free stuff to the paid stuff is the energy and enthusiasm. So, and the confidence. Energy, enthusiasm, confidence. So, I'd write that down. It really doesn't matter what you say. If you sound like you are trying, you can talk people out of it by just the way you're talking about it. You know, like if you're talking to someone and you're like, I think you should really do it. It's kind of expensive. I don't know if you want to. Do you want to? Then they'll be like, uh, no. You know? So you've got to be like, this is so awesome. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you get to the next level in your fitness goals. It's going to be amazing. Are you ready? I have a couple spots. Do you want to take one of those spots? You know, like urgency. Like it's going to start August 14th. Are you ready to get going? It's going to be so awesome. You know, like don't worry so much about what you're saying. Just make sure you're excited about it. Um, so, okay. So some people want the portion control containers and the shaker, and that doesn't come with all access on demand. How can we help them overcome that? Um, okay. Uh, wait, going back. So Cindy, yes, you can add people anytime. Yeah. I would keep adding people. The shift shop group is going amazing. Um, so, and I, I would just ask them what's holding them back from trying the workouts. So Ashley, I would just ask more questions. I would just say, you know, um, you would, you would get a lot better results using the workouts. You know, what's holding you back from using the workouts. So I always, um, when there's ob objections, I just start asking questions, you know, what's holding you back. Um, you know, and then when you find out more, you know, what's holding them back, then that will help. Um, okay. So, so we have our finding, um, oh, you're welcome. So we have our finding pool, our serving pool, and in our serving, we're doing the detective work. I'm really excited about that. I'm going to find some pictures of detectives and post them in the group. And we're going to talk about how we're learning about people. And then we're going to invite them. Okay. And so the goal is just to really get in the habit of this process is to always find you always have people in all three pools in your finding, in your serving, in your, and the last pro, the last pool is a solving their problem. Okay. So it's not selling, it's solving their problem because so it's, um, I like this uh, way that it was, was shared is, you know, when you are solving someone's problem, when someone wants what you have, you know, let's say Stacy needs a washer and dryer. Hers is totally broken. She's going to search online. She's like, I need a washer and dryer. She's going to go there and say, I need a washer and dryer. I'm going to buy it. Right? Like she needs it and we're solving her problem. So if someone's like telling you, I want to lose 50 pounds, I'm really struggling. They have this problem. We have the solution. Perfect. We are solving their problem. If someone's coming, like I had this so funny. She like came over to my house drinking like a diet Coke, like not wanting to eat healthy. And you know, like I'm not going to like force someone to drink water or eat healthy. Right. If someone's like putting up a wall and like they have to say, I want to change before we can solve their problem. Cause that would be like selling like, no, you need to drink water. You need to drink water. And like, no, I want to drink diet Coke. You know, like it doesn't work. Um, Okay, so we have our finding, serving, solving their problem, and um, and then and then it works. And then, so the last thing I want to say really quick before we end is um, is focus on focus on what you can control. This is so 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 important. Focus on what you can control, not on the outcome. If someone says no, if someone says something rude, if someone doesn't want to join. Um, take them off your list, move on. Okay. Um, we will see success by focusing on what we can control, focusing on where we're going and focus on what we want to do to help people. And the more, the cool thing about this is the more success we see, the more people will want to join and it gets so much easier because like, as you get momentum, you know, like Lara and Cindy, like a couple of you have gotten to die and Deb, you know, a few of you have gotten to diamond or above, like you've seen, you know, like start to see success and more people are like, wow, they're doing awesome. I want to work with them. You know, um, at the beginning, it's kind of hard, you know, and a lot of times people will say no, or, you know, like I can have a whole list of all the negative things people have told me, but you just 
brush it off, rubber suit, right? Let it bounce off and focus on where you're going. And I've had people come back to me and say, actually, what you're doing is really cool. You know, so how do you do, what do you do? You know, like asking questions about it. Um, so you'd be surprised. Most people that are saying, you know, things like that, it's because they don't know what they're, you're doing and they just need to learn more, you know, and they just need to check it out. And maybe it's not right for them. I've had people refer people to me and they've never become a customer, but they've sent me referrals and that's awesome too, right? Um, okay, so that's it. We're ending at the top of the hour. Um, does anyone have any questions or things to add? No? Okay, well, we're gonna take a picture. This is an awesome call tonight. All right. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, we'll do one more. To, sometimes I switch pictures of people's eyes are closed. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on one second. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, you guys are awesome. I hope you have an amazing night and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.